when your cable snaps. What happens then? One part of the spoke attached to the hub and the other one to the rim. How can you save the wheel so that you actually can just ride home? Zip ties, zip ties, they have been all on all of our bikes. They are awesome for mounting the cables and mounting the cables and mounting the cables because that's what we've been using those for uh, for the most part uh, but they're also amazing for assembling to the bike any other parts like protection mud guards um, or if you are going for backpacking probably you've been using the zip ties but today i'm gonna show you four tricks which are very helpful not only in the emergency situations but then ca they can be very smart and make your bike and ride even greater and expect some bonus tips at the end of this episode. Hack number one. This is one of the most obvious uh, zip ties uses. You just um, put those uh, on a fork on the frame and assemble uh, the housings. And you're gonna fasten the zip tie around the housing and the fork or frame completely. But there is one super smart way to actually route your cables perfectly at the front of the bike. Everyone knows that you can use zip ties in order to attach your housing to the frame or to the fork. But at the front of the bike, where all the housings are going, you can do it in a smarter way. For standard mounting, I like to use some kind of a tape in order to protect the paint of my fork or the frame. My front brake housing is already attached to the fork, which looks nice, but then here I would like to have these two together. Now, if we were only to put these with a zip tie together, it wouldn't make it nice while uh, turning, because each of these cables housings will make different shape uh, when we point the wheel to the left or to the right. But I would like this one to move on this one. How to do it with two zip ties? First, I want to see where would be the touching point, and I think it's right here. I want to take the first zip tie and just tighten it a little bit around at this height. Now I'm threading another zip tie and I want to have it around the other housing. Now I'm going to tighten up this one around my front brake housing and the other one will be left a little bit open. This will be a small eyelet. Now see how beautifully it works. This zip tie is attached to this housing and the other one makes a small eyelet and now it can just move around the shifting housing. That means that this one will not stand out to the front, but also will be able to move with the other. So no bad tension between those. Here's the second problem and the hack we're gonna use as a solution. Rattling cables inside the frame. This rattling uh, creates two problems. Uh, the, the noise, that's obviously the problem. The second complication from this rattling is that uh, the housing is actually rubbing against this insert here and I'm not sure how many miles on the rough roads this would make. On this bike also it creates another problem which is the shifting not being perfect because this housing can actually move and we need a perfect arc here, perfect shape of the, the housing here, which is no longer perfect as you can see. So it hasn't been made very well. Solution, first I'm gonna put the, the insert here inside the frame as it should be and then find the right, the, the perfect uh, shape for my housing, checking out the shifting uh, quality because you will feel really uh, under your fingers 
that it's it's been it, it's better or worse so this one I think uh, is good because we have less friction here inside the inside the housing the second step out of three is uh, assembling the zip ties here so that this housing will won't be pulled in great now the housing won't get into the frame but it can get out so we need to do another thing and so we need to put another zip ties on this side uh, additionally if we can get some tension by pulling uh, the housing out of the frame uh, on the housing it won't rattle as much inside the frame that means we are solving all the issues now i'm pulling the housing out of the frame done the third situation is the emergency somewhere just on the right when your cable snaps it can be the rear derailleur cable or the front derailleur cable what happens then the cables are snapped we're gonna have some really lousy gearing right now the rear derailleur will go to the highest gear so the the hardest one and the front derailleur will go down to the lowest gear something which can be really difficult for us to manage on the run what can we do in order to get home if we are still in the middle of nowhere we want to set the gearing which will be just the the best for us to go because we won't be able to shift that's for sure if you are in the mountains you will probably um, set somewhere here on the lowest parts of the gears you are somewhere on the tarmac flat roads maybe in the middle more the high the higher gear how to do it set the drill on the gear and use the zip tie in this case of uh, cable assembly we can even do something like this I'm just checking the ideal position that's it great this is working uh, additionally now you can simply unscrew uh, this little bolt in order to readjust your uh, your shifter uh, your uh, derailleur maybe you want to shift up or down you can do it but this is silent it's working it won't damage your derailleur you can go now we're gonna use the same hack at the front step one I'm gonna set the derailleur on the train ring I would love to have uh, you can also have triple cranks it so that would be the choice between the middle one and the uh, bigger one now look how the derailleur is working so that you know which parts to connect you don't want to have your uh, zip ties in the way of the chain chain set and the rear wheel depending on the design of your front derailleur just uh, choose the best option to fasten it it's working perfectly the last trick is also the emergency issue and that's a snapped spoke I have snapped many spokes in my life maybe not many but a couple of these uh, and I've got some of the spokes right here I'm gonna show you what to do when the spoke snaps uh, and you still have one of uh, one part of the spoke attached to the hub and the other one to the rim how can you save the wheel so that you actually can just ride home oh yeah I've got a couple of these here this one is interesting because uh, something just hit my wheel it was like I don't know some branch uh, gets into the into the wheel this spoke actually didn't snap this is the side with the nipple on on the rim side this is the side uh, of the hub with this little uh, head here so we're gonna assume this one snaps boom pretty badly snapped spoke now the wheel is out of true 
uh, if it still uh, fits uh, the, the frame or the fork you can kind of ride it slowly home but the best thing would be to reinforce the, the wheel back with this spoke and the zip ties so that you can you can ride safely or more safe at least we're gonna need one zip tie second zip tie third zip tie probably you're not carrying different zip ties with you uh, but you can just uh, get away with uh, these kind of zip ties you can connect those uh, i'm gonna show you that on the tips at the end first off we need to do something with the spoke so that we can actually use the zip tie on it and that's bending the end uh, of the spoke as you as you saw you can you can bend those pretty much like four or five times so bending it just once will let you fix the wheel now we can simply uh, link <laughs> those two uh, with the zip ties but in order for these not to open up uh, we will reinforce those with two other zip ties And now, with such a system, we can at least ride slowly and safely back home. Just make sure you don't jump, you don't do crazy stuff, you don't push the pedals too hard, because, you see, this is just the emergency. That's it, these were the zip ties uh, tricks. Uh, a couple of tips at the end. You can reuse uh, the zip ties. Yes, you, you can reuse the zip ties. Uh, you just use some, uh, some object which will be quite sharp at the end and uh, then you open up this little uh, tooth uh, that is that is actually fastening the zip tie and you can reuse it especially if it, if there is no safety issues like maybe you just want to reuse it for packing the bike or or assembling the the chain guard um, protection the the chain stay protection you can reuse it also if the zip tie is too short the one you have with you in the middle of nowhere is too short you can connect two zip ties in order to get the longer one so uh, that's the tip not everyone will maybe come up with but this is very easy and this is uh, very helpful just use two together uh, and you can you can have uh, the longer one and then there are different ones there are very thin ones and and the thicker ones this is the original zip ties for mounting some um, backpack stuff on the fork uh, of the bike i'm going to show you that just in the within uh, two weeks because i'm going to go for some bike packing and then different colors so use different colors so that uh, those won't be that visible if you don't want them to be visible like on the housings and also some nice colors if you've got like some nice red uh, details or so or uh, green ones or red just use the same colors so that your bike will look awesome that's it guys let me know what tricks with the zip ties you're using see you soon bye bye guys thanks for hanging out with me remember to join our forum.zigbiker.com where we discuss all the topics uh, training service any issues with the bikes if you want to share anything with us join our facebook group all the links are below and if you want to join my patrons feel free to do so and now okay you might watch just one or two episodes more but then let's go and ride <laughs>